What's up, everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the ENFP personality in the MBTI personality system. I'm Jeff Pilkington. This is Launch Industries Now. And welcome back. So all of those great, wonderful ENFP P's out there. Now the ENFP, let's get into it, is a little bit different than, it's actually quite different than the ENTP, which is what I am. The ENFP is the extroverted, intu intuitor, feeler, perceiver. And what that means is they have the four cognitive functions. Each personality has a set of cognitive functions. Now, what ENFP's cognitive functions are, are they lead with external intuition. Inside, which is known as their auxiliary function, they have their internal feeling, which is kind of what they shift into when they need to. And then they have the backup, which is they are external thinkers, and that's the tertiary backup function. And then their hidden inferior function, the thing they struggle with, is their uh, internal sensing. So if we talk about the ENFP a little bit, well, first of all, they're very um, emotionally open people. They lead with this external intuition. So they're constantly, um, like the ENTP, they actually are disruptors and they like to, you know, kind of shake up things that, that are going on around them. Um, now, what will happen, though, is when they do that, and this is the big difference between the ENTP, which I talked about last week, and the ENFP. When they disrupt, the ENFP shifts into internal feeling. So what they're doing, which is conflicted from the disrupting, kind of like, or they're going into their feeling, which is kind of more of staying in, inside rather than disrupting the world around them. And it kind of conflicts in that way because with their internal feeling, they're very much, um, even though they don't really, people don't see this on the outside all the time, they're very uh, much focused on their, their values and their authenticity and who they are. And, and they're really, when they're dis after they disrupt things, shifting into how their feeling and, and if that's a good thing and if they value that and the authenticity of it, they are extremely authentic. Like these people are the most authentic probably of any personality. They're just very, very authentic people. And what happens is those two conflict. So they're constantly in this conflicting struggle of disrupting versus then how they feel about that. And the, the thing that's the reason in this way that the ENTP has a little bit easier is because the ENTP just disrupts everything and then they don't go into the feeling they go into the think internal thinking so that's what I am is I'll disrupt everything and then I'll think like about it like so when I'm disrupting when an ENTP disrupts the world they won't know that they caused a problem and if someone said, tells them they caused a problem the ENTP which is what I am will say will want to know how to fix it or they'll want to know what they should do to, to fix that problem because they're thinking about it while the ENFP is much more sensitive to that because their their second cognitive function which is the internal feeling they're going into so they're very aware of that um, they make great um, you know often you will see them as teachers psychologists um, you'll see them in HR departments um, they're, they're just very, you know, conflicted, but, but sensitive inside after they're disrupting the outside. So let's talk about the, the other two functions. So then they have as their tertiary function, the external thinking. Now, this takes a lot of them time to develop, and the external thinking is, is tough. They're trying to manifest that in the world. They're, they're moving the world around, and they're trying to do that with their thinking, and that takes some development, and people do start to see them as... Um, organizers and being able to organize in time. The problem with that is when they're, you know, trying to move things and telling everybody, you know, trying to give direction. First of all, they've got that internal feeling going on, which affects that. And then second of all, they're not very good at controlling the external thinking and, and everything they're trying to move around because they've got internal sensing, which is what I have as well. So they're not the most organized of people, but they are trying to kind of regulate or control the world around them. And, and so you've got those two 
conflicting while the other two are conflicting. So that, that's hard. It's a battle for them, you know, because they do constantly feel those conflicted sides. Can they get through it? Yeah. Um, you know, they oftentimes will struggle um, in certain areas. There can be depression. There can be, you know, um, just different addictions and, and such because of that confliction going on. But if they can fight through that, they are among the most sensitive, loving, um, very in touch with their feelings people on earth. Um, you know, the people that examples of people, some people who've developed that external thinking um, would be Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk's the best ENFP I can think of. People see him as he's this disruptor. He's the constantly disrupting and he's developed his external thinking. So he is a thinker and he can go back and forth. The thing that people don't realize about Gary Vaynerchuk, and I'm sure, he, I've never met him, but I'm sure he would tell you this, is he is very, very, very much a feeler. He really does have empathy and he that's, the, that's his... That internal feeling he goes into every time. Gary is thinking about that and he's struggling with that. And I'm sure he will tell anybody that. But he's so successfully developed his external thinking and he's so and he's gotten so good at that that he's been able to hire people for his company around him to do the organizing and do the little shit that he's not quite as good at. This is a guess, but I have a feeling because I'm pretty intuitive um, that he's been able to be very successful. So when you can develop that external thinking, it leads to success, literally. That's such the key in everything. Like ENTP, our tertiary function is external feeling. So we have kind of the opposite battle of ENFP. They're trying to develop the external thinking. We're trying to develop the external feeling. Um, and once you get good at that, that's when you start having more success in the world. So Gary V would be one ENFP. Um, Will Smith is another one, developed at very, you know, very young age doing... Um, Fresh Prince and all that. If, if you look at his, if you Google Will, Will's wisdom and look at that, you can see very, he's very much this feeler, intuitive, uh, you know, understands things that are going on about the world. Um, and the acting, it certainly helps with the acting, that internal feeling, no doubt. Um, Ellen DeGeneres is, is a classic example. Um, you know, her show is very feel oriented. You can tell she likes making changes in the world and she's big on that, but she has a big heart and she's really constantly monitoring her feelings and she's really in touch with her sensitive side. And you can really see that in Ellen um, on her shows. Um, ENFP big time. Um, uh, Walt Disney would be another one. He was known for being a disruptor, but very in touch with his internal feelings. Um, those are a few examples I can think of, but, um, really do understand that these people are loving, they're caring people, they, they really care about what others, um, they're very in touch with their feelings. And if they can get through that confliction and, and develop that external thinking, they can really, really be, be super, super successful. So, um, and have great families and, and, and loving, caring people. Value and authenticity authenticity is the biggest thing you need to know about them and the most authentic people on earth. So that is ENFP. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're here every week doing all sorts of various videos on psychology, personality types. We do Mandela effects. We do, we just talk about everything, life tips. We just love it all. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'm Jeff Pilkington. This is Launch Industries and we will see you next time. Thank you.